And hello everyone, we're here. Welcome, hello, welcome. hello. Come on in, come on in. I am Zander Netherbrand, if in case you don't know, and joining me today, well, I'll let him introduce himself. Hello, hello. I am Xander Netherbrand's <laughs> genmate, the elf and sage of creation of Avalum's first stage. Oh, what? <laughs> of first stage productions, first generation Avalum. <laughs> Cassian Flo is the name. Hi. You did wonderfully. <laughs> <laughs> hello. The two of us had a little bit of time together, and we are both enjoyers of morning coffee, evening drinks, and all things beverage related. So. We thought we would squirrel ourselves away at my club for a stream and spend a little bit of time both with all of you and answering a few marshmallows, which Cass diligently put up before the stream, catching me much off guard, but also very delighted. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We got a lot of questions to go through. And uh, of course, if you have any uh, other questions, you can always post them in, uh, in the chat as well. Oh, we're nice. always reading the chat yeah of course our eyes never turn away this is actually the first time the the dewdrops and the netherlings have have been side by side on like a single yeah. like duo this is the first time we're doing something together <laughs> just us two <laughs> just as like a two a, a twosome <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> dude oh jewel thank you for the super double trouble let's go i mean thank you for it's the super. true it's true, it's rare. Two prettiest boys in Avalum, side by side. But here we are. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now, Cass, why don't you share what your drink is for this evening? Okay, uh, my drink... Uh, it's its an interesting combination, I think. It's not... It's like a little bit unusual. But uh, it's its English tea. It's Earl Grey um, with Manuka honey and, like... Uh, a little bit of lime, yeah. Oh, cute, mm. cute. English tea, trying to get on my good side, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you who regularly turn into my stream, you would know that, as always, I am consuming a more than healthy amount of black coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, nether drops. Nether drops. That's nether cute. drop. Nether yeah. drops. That's oh cute. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's wonderful. So, Cass, I've had a little peek at your streaming schedule as well. I thought I would natter about it before we get started. You have some interesting stuff planned for this week. Yeah, I mean, some, uh, you know, celebrations. Uh, the karaoke, of course, with a 20k uh, celebration. Indeed. Um, my very first Valorant stream with Ooh. Lucy. That's a big and... one. Yeah, and then the the Fall Guys collab that we're all attending to. It's a big and very busy week. And mm. first of all, a huge congratulations to you for hitting 20,000 followers, subscribers. Thank you. Twitchers. Uh, no, wrong, wrong platform. <laughs> um, you can tell I've been down some roads. Uh, but... Um, <laughs> But no, congratulations to you. Honestly, you deserve it. You've been working hard. You've been putting in the effort. And your song just absolutely blew people out of the water. Like, overdose? I think I've overdosed with the amount of times I've listened to it. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. It's soon to be you. Soon to be you, 20k. I mean, Zenny to 20k. Zenny to 20k. I think we'll probably get there. We will get there. Um, yeah, man. And I think it's going to be more interesting when I release my original song as well, which Cass mm. has heard. Uh, yes! <laughs> Holy shit, it's good! <laughs> it's not VTuber music. It's it's actual music from how it's been described to me, um, which is a very interesting and sweet way to put it. Is that Lucian lurking in our <laughs> chat? Lucian Lurknaris. Lucian Lurknaris. All of the L's with the alliteration. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and of course, Uki and Cassie's star drop. Hello. Hello to both of you. Have a wonderful time together. Unfortunately, I have to eat now. Bef uh, bye bye, Zanny and Cass. Netherlings and dewdrops. <laughs> bye bye. Bye Good bye. Night. Slumber well. That's such a sweet name. That's such a sweet yeah. name. That's, no, they, they actually. um. Their name was Ukiki's Stargazer before. And then uh, not too long ago, they changed it to 
Ukiki's and Cassie's star drops. Oh, that's actually so sweet. That's actually yeah. so sweet. It's so cute. <laughs> you have such an effect on people, Cass. You have such an effect. Me? Yeah. You make them horny. <laughs> 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 Listen, horny but wholesome, sweet yeah. but spicy. That's what this is all about. <laughs> mm, yeah, <laughs> that might be just a facade, you know. They're all oh. down bad for you. <laughs> oh, come along. Oh, manly man, thank you for the super compulsory super. It's never compulsory, and I thank you all the same. I deeply appreciate it, manly man. Ma manly man is is absolutely lovely. Uh, but I think that uh, it's going to be a really interesting week. I actually haven't announced it yet, and I told the Dark Overlords I would. But after your Valorant stream. Uh, I'm actually doing a surprise extra stream. I'm doing a little quick one hour ASMR stream. Yes. Hell yeah. That's going to be my treat. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little one hour scripted ASMR after the Valorant stream. So after you've worked yourself up, uh, watching Cass slice, dice, and eviscerate people on Valorant, you can wind down and have me whisper sweet nothings to you which mm. is one of my favorite pastimes. <laughs> and then you can just dive straight into Gale. What was Gale doing after that? Gale was doing... Oh, wait. Oh. What day is it? It's uh, Thursday, right? Thursday, tomorrow. Thursday, Thursday. Yeah. Uh, no, wait, tomorrow's, tomorrow's Wednesday. Wait. Uh, oh, no. yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> if, oh, no. If it, was, if it was Wednesday today, I'd be in so much trouble because I would have missed my <laughs> language class. <laughs> Uh, oh, he's playing Neon White again. Yeah. Neon White. Oh, I love that game. Mm. But yes, uh, they uh, they sorted me back into into a group with with my Nigerian friends in my language class. Oh, <laughs> which is a win. It's not all of them. It's like two of them. But this has been a, a tumultuous journey. Turns out I suck at learning other languages. So now I just have two lovely like new Nigerian friends sat either side of me who are just talking me through how to learn a language. And I'm like, thank you so much for looking after this pretty dumb incubus. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Nico Komori already asked Cass, but opinion in cheese. Ooh, now that depends what kind of cheese you're talking about. Are you talking about an Edam? Are you talking about a Red Leicester? Are you talking about uh, a good like sort of cranberry cut cheese? I'm definitely a fan of sort of the, uh, it's, it's a bit of an unusual one, but I'm a fan of like a decent Stilton with cranberries interlaced. That's, that's oh. good. I'm a good fan of a wine and cheese night with some grapes oh, okay. and, you know, a nice little charcuterie board and... Oh, you know, damn. <laughs> I'm fancy. What can I say? What can I say? I'll that that is a, fancy. I'll have to bring you for a wine and cheese night one one time, Kaz. I'll have to. Like, if you're ever in my neck of the woods, I will... <laughs> I will I will provide you wine and cheese. I'm a good date, I promise. <laughs> uh, well, I'm on, only going to be eating the cheese then, because <laughs> I don't drink. <laughs> Fair. I'll drink for you. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can drink my <laughs> my portion. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Oh, Eden. Good morning, Cass and Zanny. I'm at work drinking tea and listening to the stream. Nether drops forever. Oh, nether drops forever. I think this is going to become a thing. I think nether drops might become a thing. <laughs> is this going to be a thing? I saw people make uh, ship names already. So this this might be added to uh, to the, uh, what's it called? Wait, do we have a ship? Uh, uh, not, I think not yet. I think this is the first one. But it, oh. it sounds good. Yeah. Because I know that Gail and I have a ship. I know that Gail and I is... I, I, this is going to sound so strange, but I know that Gail and I, at the moment, is the most prominent prominent Avalon ship. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, what's the name? I don't know because there's no name like that's been settled on yet. Oh, uh, there's been like no name. All I know is that that comes up the most when you type in certain tags. And <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'd like to let everyone know I'm currently dominating the Avalum NSFW tag. So, um, where is my trophy? <laughs> uh, I'm currently dominating the tag. So, uh, <laughs> Rich Lust. Rich Lust? Gold Lust. Oh. 
gold lust, rich lust, the nail. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Gold Interesting. lust sounds really good. Rich lust. Oh. Okay. Okay. So there's there's a good amount of lust going on. It's in. Am I always lust? I guess I'm always lust. With, <laughs> with with Gale, I'm I'm gold lust slash rich lust. With 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 Lucy, I'm blood lust. With with oh. Cass. You're we'll nether. Figure out with me. Ne yeah. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. Nether, nether drops, right? So nether drops. I mean, I think that's. Or is just, that? Uh, uh, I think that's that's our, our collaborative nether nether netherlings and two drops. Oh, together. you mean the fan name? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. No. That, not 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 the not the ship name. Not the ship name. Not the mm. ship. We we don't need to bring the fans quite into the ship. <laughs> 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 oh, it's great. Lust drops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, the last oh. drops. <laughs> oh, you have. Oh, you have ideas oh. out there. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I love that. Leaf lust. The no, I'm going with lust drops. I'm going with lust drops. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I've totally been delaying and denying. And you have some marshmallows that you were interested in. Yeah. You want me to start reading? Um, if if you wish, if you wish. Okay, uh, let's start with the very first one. Uh, I don't think we've answered this ever. So uh, they ask, I want to ask if we're allowed to send you fan letters and gifts. Uh, I don't think so, right? I believe I've had this conversation with the Dark Overlords, and yeah. it boils down to them not having an address for us. And mm. also with the Dark Overlords not being able to properly allocate each sort of thing that comes our way. However, if you do have a message or a letter for us, we all do have our hashtags. We all yeah. do have marshmallows. And, you know, uh, I, I need to post mine, but I do have one. Uh, feel free to use our hashtags. Feel free to use our marshmallows. You can send them anonymously through the marshmallows if you, if you would prefer not to have your name attached to it. But there is that option, and it's it's something where we all check our tags very, very regularly, both on yeah. social media and on the marshmallows. So that's true. We do love hearing from all of you. Oh, Albert oh. and Zanny, the duo we needed and wanted. Oh, thank you, bold Roscoe Graves. <laughs> we tried, we tried. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> I, I didn't okay. leave anything out, did I? Huh? I didn't leave anything out, did I? With the with the with the. Um, well, the, I don't the, think so. No, no. I wanted to make sure because sometimes the Dark Overlords trust you more than they trust me. <laughs> <laughs> they, they think I'm. They don't think I'm entirely safe to trust. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder why. <laughs> Their loss. <clears throat> All right. Next up. Uh, hello, Mister Netherbrand and Mister Floros. If you had to assign a fruit to each Avala member, who would be what? Love you both, non-parasocial. <laughs> Aw. Love sweet. you too. Sweet. Non Love you too. Non-parasocial. <laughs> um good question. Mm. Uh, I think it's a blood orange. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. There we go. That's a good one. Lucy's um, a blood orange. Gale is a mango. What? Oh my god, I was thinking the same thing! Oh my god. Yes! Yes, so I, I don't know. It, it just feels tropical, or right. like, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it, it, he's on the high seas. He's like going to desert islands. He's he's like getting a tan through working in like the the, the sun on the ship. He splits a mango open. He enjoys mm. like you, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. Roscoe, that's a difficult one. Oh, I was thinking, uh, maybe Roscoe, dragon fruit. Oh, because. Uh, I don't know. The color kind of matches. Oh, uh, I see that. I see that. Uh, maybe uh, I don't know. Maybe it's a little exaggerated, but like I, the the inside is sometimes um like darkish pink with mm. black seeds, and his theme is like sort of pink and and black, right? So I, I, yeah, yeah. I think I might actually disagree with you on this one. I think if I had to assign like Roscoe a fruit. I'd give him cherries. Cherries? Yeah. Like sort of a dark, rich, black sort of cherry, you know? Mm. Or like a very, like the very deep, deep cherry, you know? 
Okay. I could I could see that. Yeah. Although I was hmm, I wanted to assign cherries to either you or Lucy, but now that you you already said like Lucy would be the the uh, blood oranges, which I agree sounds better than than cherries. Mm. Oh, oh, the first ever super from Seki. Oh, thank you very much Seki. The first time catching a live stream from Avalum. Yay. Have a good one you two. The best and loveliest greetings from Germany. You are a sweetie. That's so sweet. <laughs> Well, thank you very much, Seki. You're very sweet. And congratulations on the first ever super. Round of applause. Round of applause. Yay. <laughs> patchy, patchy. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. Um, mm. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I was, mm, wait, I'm still thinking about the question. <laughs> I'm still, yeah, I'm still stuck on the, you know, cherries are good, you know, and it also helps the... No, so can't say that. Can't say that. It's not past the half hour mark yet. Oh. <laughs> it's going to say, you know, uh, cherries works. And also, I'm pretty sure I could tie anyone in a knot with my tongue. But <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> uh, hmm. I'm thinking for you, I want to go with like green grapes. Oh, I can see that. Cause, I can like, see that. Sweet, very like, you know, uh, very like filling, very sort of like you can press it into wine. It's very variable. It's it, it, it you, you know you you see where where it is. You give me grapes. Okay, I can see it. The green grapes, yeah, I can see. Mm -hmm. it. I oh, can see that. Hmm. <laughs> I'm really, I don't know. For I thought for you it might be the um, darker purple-ish grapes. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Okay. We can go with like. We could go with like regular grapes, and then we could go with like winery grapes for me. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I see that. I, see, I okay. I like that. I like that. We've got like winery. We're purple and green grapes. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay, that's. I I think we've we've done that. I think that. I, yeah. I'm 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 gonna lock in my answer. I'm gonna lock in my answer. It's like a game show. Uh, here we go. Um, okay. Do either of you believe in ghosts? On a scale of 1 to 10, where would you put yourself? 8.5. Hmm. 8.5? 8.5. I'm a strong believer in ghosts. Oh, my goodness. Damn. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you for not me, believe I'd in ghosts? Say, I, I, for me, it's a 2.5. What? <laughs> Yeah. We have a skeptic here. <laughs> no, no, I'm I'm a strong believer in ghosts. I'm a I'm okay. a strong believer in them. Sell it to me. Okay. The question is, okay, what scientific evidence can we use to bring in a certain idea of uh, this uh, paranormal, paranatural phenomenon, right? Now okay. first of all we have to understand that the conscience or the consciousness, sorry, isn't something that can be measured. We still do not understand the nature of living consciousness. And it's something that we are still discovering more and more about, right? Now, an interesting fact with sort of England and Britain is that there are reports of Roman soldiers on these like old Roman roads and sites of them being seen and they're only ever seen marching from like the knees upwards because you know the original sort of granite has been or like stuff used for the road has been paved over etc etc so my belief my belief stems from this ghosts can be the equivalent of psychic echoes that are left in the environment by the living conscience or consciousness on moments of emotional physical or supernatural turmoil within oneself and around them so that is my belief so uh, there you go, whether it's fragments of uh, consciousness or whether it's the idea that there are uh, things beyond our explanation, it all boils down to any technology or any, anything sufficiently beyond our understanding is always going to be compared to magic in its nature. Hmm. I, okay, I, I can see, uh, I can see your reasoning behind this i i strongly believe that there's gotta be a scientific uh answer to every paranormal mm -hmm. uh activity quote unquote um 
I agree even, with that. Yeah, if, even if like you can't prove that there is scientific evidence, you can also not prove that it like there isn't, right? T- uh, totally, totally. The absence of something doesn't equal the um, the presence, right, of something else. Right. Okay, I like that. I like that. The absence of uh, evidence does not mean that does not give proof of a conclusion. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I, I agree with that. I think that we both look at this from a very scientific point of view. It's just that we come to a different conclusion at the end. But I yeah. do agree with you that everything can be explained with some sort of scientific evidence. Uh, it's just whether or not we as, or should I say humans, as a society are advanced <laughs> enough to understand yet. Neither of us are human, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who would have thought? An elf and a demon. Um, well, but, you know, if our science does evolve and we are able to prove, like, I don't know, uh, the soul or, or ghosts, then, yeah, I'm wrong. Then I will gladly uh, accept that I'm wrong or I was wrong. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, that's a fun question. Sorry, I've, I've cherry picked it from the chat. Um, yeah, no problem. If you had to swap colors with one member of Avalon, who would you swap with? Ooh. <laughs> I mean, hmm. I think I'd probably go for Lucy's color or colors. <laughs> uh, because it's only because uh, we're already like um, seen as yin and yang. Right. So seeing the opposite of. Uh, each other would be pretty cool, I think. Someone just flipped on the negative filter for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, for 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 legal reasons, I cannot choose Lucy's colors. For legal reasons. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all know, for the purpose of legal distinction, I cannot do such a thing. Um, <laughs> so uh, I would actually uh, turn around and take roscoe's colors of pink and black oh okay oh that'd be interesting would you be more pink or more black i would go more pink i would Ooh, definitely whoa. go more pink <laughs> pink zanny might be interesting oh uh zaki uh zaki uh reverie hi Cass and zanny i can't watch today's stream but i'll watch the vod love you too love you too love you too <laughs> Non parasocial. <laughs> of course, of course. I don't, I don't need to paraphrase. They know my audience are nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Tulip as well. Tulip, thank you for the super. Good morning, Zanny and Cass. I know it's morning coffee, but I'm drinking tea, partially because I don't really like coffee. And the other reason is because my throat is super sore due to a cold. Oh, Tulip, get well soon. Get well soon. Get well okay? soon. And don't so, worry, I'm also de- drinking tea. <laughs> indeed. We're, we're well past morning, wherever we are. So mm-hmm. uh, I just drink coffee at unreasonable hours. No, but rest up, get well soon, okay? Get some honey, lemon, do that for the throat. Maybe do like a little steam if you need to turn around and like deal with the cold and get some vitamin D, okay? Or vitamin D if you're an American. (laughs) Yeah, these darn Americans, right? (laughs) Right. (laughs) Uh, Uh, Wait, let me go ahead and read the next question. Oh, go for it. Um, wait, um, uh, okay. Ooh. Uh, okay. This one seems pretty. Okay. Least favorite ice cream flavor. Hmm. Mm. I mean, ice cream is so good. Like, yeah. Each ice cream has like its own unique, like, selling point. But... <laughs> Raspberry Ripple, it's trash. There we go. What? What? Wait, which one? Raspberry Ripple. What is that exactly? It's like raspberry flavored ice cream with ripples of like more intense raspberry going through it. Huh. Oh, I I, I can't say that I've ever had that. Nightwix, thank you for the super color line. Hee <laughs> hee. Hi, Acacian. <laughs> hello, <Okay>. hello, hello. <laughs> I'm sorry, my color line was a little bit spicy. <laughs> <laughs> I it's it's um it's a very British 
ice cream. No, actually, no. No, I changed my mind. Rum and raisin. Rum and raisin. Garbage. It belongs in the underworld. Ooh, Send it there. Ooh, actually, yeah, you might be on something. Yeah. Nah, I don't think rum and raisin is any good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the elf and the incubus have condemned it. Yeah. <laughs> rum and raisin needs to go deep down below. <laughs> Uh, uh, Rebecca Doodles, do you like soup? Ever had pancake soup? Ooh. Ooh, and also, first super chat. Thank you very much, Rebecca Doodles. First super chat. Look at that. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, I've never had pancake soup. Uh, I like hearty soups, like broths and stuff like that, and like um, stews. But I actually used to have to eat tomato soup, like three times, four times a week when I was at demon school uh, because the food budget uh, had suffered some rather large slashes. So it was what we used to eat. And ever since then, I just avoid soup like it's the plague. Uh, do, do you know what pancake soup is? I have no idea what pancake soup is. So I was actually um, asked that uh, in my stream yesterday as well. Uh, oh wait, yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. <laughs> um, it's it's like a German soup, apparently. Oh. Uh, I think it's basically like bread slices in there, like a soup. It's like a uh, do you know a bouillon soup? Uh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Uh, I think it's that, and then breadcrumbs. And uh, well, sorry, uh, bread slices. In there. I've never had it, but I'd want to try it. Yeah, I, I had to uh, look it up yesterday because I also didn't know what it was. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> it, okay, then. Oh, another one. Uh, we've got a few coming. Oh, we've, we've had a few coming in in the space of a few seconds. Okay, <laughs> um, we'll go through these one by one. Don't worry, you will get your time in the sun. Uh, I promise, I promise, I promise. Uh, Tan, uh, Tama, hi, you both. After eight hours working with children, both of your voices are making me relax. Have a wonderful stream. Greetings from a German potato. Well, you're a wonderful German potato. We're glad we were able to offer assistance. And don't worry, we are here to spirit you away for a little while. <laughs> you, Cass, I think you got more. Yeah, I, oh, sorry. Yeah. I, <laughs> Cass, hi, hi, Pop Tama. Hi, Pop Tama. Okay. They, Wait, they come what? back from work. They... Oh, 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 sorry. sorry. <laughs> Cass out here. Go, go, I thought you were. Go, 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 I thought you were gonna read the next one. <laughs> I, I, I thought you were going to chip in and say something nice to someone who has been working hard with children, the wretched little beasts, for eight hours. You're right. My bad. <laughs> I tell my aunt, I'm really proud of you, and I, I bet the children love you. Uh, good, good work. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. There, Cass. There. I'm sorry. <laughs> and of course, Munchio, Munchio. Uh, but Zanny, aren't you from the underworld? Wouldn't that mean you're sending it back to your home? Also, mint chocolate and bubblegum, blah. Yes, I would be sending the uh, the ice cream back to my home. There's a reason I escaped from there. It's, it's, it's not great. It's not great. <laughs> Let my family deal with it. They're terrible enough. They deserve rum and raisin. They deserve yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, wait. Oh, are you familiar with um, Sanrio? San Sanrio. Yeah. What What is that? Okay. Uh, so this question revolves around the Sanrio characters. Uh, the they're like um. You know Hello Kitty, right? Yes. 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 Yeah. I think uh she's also part of Sanrio. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, cheesy Gebite made it to a, to Z uh, made it to a Zanny stream. Crab crab emoji. Also, hello from a furry clipper. Hello, he hello, hello. Hello. Glad you made hello. it here. Good good. Hello furry. Uh, <laughs> good to see you. We don't we don't mind what you are here. Uh, so there are a lot of. I think we actually look up looked up some uh, in Japan. Oh, I, I don't know if you remember. Uh, well, let me just send you an image. Maybe, maybe you remember some of these. 
so so I know so like I know there's a bunch of Hello Kitty stuff because Hello Kitty has like the the, the backpacks and the the shoes and the hair scrunchies and the switchblades and you know all, all of the all of the Hello Switch, Kitty merchandise. Yeah. So huh? Have you not seen the Hello Kitty switchblades? No. I I don't know if they're official merch. I don't think they are, but <laughs> I don't believe so. <laughs> let me let me pull up an image of this. Let me let me pull up an image of Hello. <laughs> let me pull up a uh, Hello Kitty so, so, <laughs> Switch Switchblade. Here we go. Is it official merch? It's on Amazon. It's on oh, Amazon. Oh. Well, it's, it's most likely not official merch. <laughs> I, I mean, it's an aesthetic. They've got like a Hello Kitty. Wait, there's a Hello Kitty AK-47. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is wonderful. I love this. Uh, Milady, uh, Milady Nikki. Did someone say Sanriel? OMG, OMG. Zanny would be Karomi and Cass would be a cinnamon roll. I don't know what those are, but we're going to find out. <laughs> uh, I sent an image uh, right in Zatsu. Ooh, ooh, I'm being, I'm being Zatsu'd. Oh, yeah, and there's oh, both those. Karomi and Cinnamon Roll. Yeah, 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 those, those. I know, I, I didn't know these were like, these had a name. I thought they were just things. And yes, I do. Yeah, I look like Karomi. I do, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I can admit when, when someone is correct. I, I can, I can. Also, for anyone who wants to uh, to, to to see a, a Hello Kitty switchblade, I will I'll be I'll be I'll be putting that image on screen now. Um, here you go. If you, in case you ever wanted to, in case your life wouldn't be complete without seeing one, uh, here you are. In three, two, one, and there. This is this is a Hello Kitty switchblade. Um, <laughs> I thought I thought you would appreciate this. I don't think this is official merchandise, but you know, you know, someone someone was creative enough to make this. So good for them. Uh, uh, there, we, I, I appreciate the creativity. I don't know if you uh, know the the uh, cinnamon roll meme, which has been going around. It's like uh, her saying uh, a really cute Japanese phrase um, with the video like being. Pretty much anything. It c it could be anything. It could be I don't know Drake uh, speaking. It could be uh, whatever, right? A bear, a horse, whatever. <laughs> she says like, um, ga kureta ironna mitami ni narera something something like that. <laughs> so, oh yeah, oh, I can't, oh, I can't another <laughs> super from Seki. Oh, I just do this super to hear Zani say flood super. Okay, Florida Super. Good good to know. I, I appreciate, I appreciate. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I... But well, good. I, I, it's, also, I, I Cass in JP. Just... Cass in Japanese, good. Cass in Japanese is, is a very... T I still can't say the word. Tuska. Tuskaru? <laughs> tuskaru. Tuskaru. It's, it's a very Tuskaru moment. Okay, it's, it's very good. It's very good. Um... I, I'm never going to be able to say that word. I'll forget. I'll forget every single time. But no, can, can we just... Your Japanese is great and I love hearing you speak it. <laughs> I get enchanted by it. Uh, oh, uh, so... Flatless uh, soup is... I think it's uh, the, the the thing. The pancake soup from the floor. Oh, that's flatless soup. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Everyone's saying Tiska. People are saying Tiska. <laughs> it's just it, I said that one time during that silly stream, <laughs> the, the silly <laughs> Minecraft stream, because people were like, "Oh, t -t 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 and I was like, "I don't," because I sneezed. I, I I don't know if I if you saw the clip I shared it on my. <gasps> oh, I sneezed. And, <laughs> you gave us free content like that. I know. I know. It's it's it's. it's, it's I'm still living it down. I'm still living it down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes. Uh, anyway, anyway, they're, they're, they're marshmallows, marshmallows, words, things, people, people doing things. Yeah. Uh, wait, let me. Uh, 
I gotta pick out a good one. All good, all good. I will continue to entertain like uh like Nitwix. It's going to be Whisker like Akachaka. <laughs> oh, and uh Kamisha. Hey Zanny and Cass, I'm on my way to art history. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, Kamisha, remember? Argue that the contemporary period in both modern art and also in uh in modern art and also in theatrical <laughs> performance started in the early 2000s. That should be considered contemporary, not post-1980, because of the fact that the amount that the world changed with the future shock and technology that came forth in that time, it affected everything. You say that Basquiat was the original forebearer of people bringing forth modern art, and then follow up by saying that the influence of Andy Warhol was not as dramatic as people made it out to be. There you go. Oh. <laughs> what, just, uh, what just happened? <laughs> what? I, I I didn't study any art. I didn't study any art. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What the? <laughs> what are you, what are you, good luck at art history, Kamisha. Um. Okay. <laughs> so someone is asking. Uh, you are free to decline this question, but uh, someone's asking for I our love it. language. I will answer. Touch. Touch and time spent. <laughs> Touch and time spent. I'll latch onto you like a barnacle. Uh, you can like rank them from like f uh, one to five. Like uh, one would be touch for you, and then oh, let's go down uh, the list. Uh, it's so there's like acts of service, quality time, words of affirmation, physical touch, and giving or receiving gifts. Oh, okay. Um, I will say number one is uh definitely physical touch uh okay two is time spent uh so uh, quality quality time quality time spent yeah i, mm -hmm. I love spending quality time uh three is probably uh giving and receiving gifts um, okay um and what were the other what were the other two uh there's acts of service and words of affirmation acts of service four words of affirmation five okay hmm what are yours? Uh, I'm really curious to what yours are. I'm really <laughs> curious. You seem you seem like someone with a very deep love language. Uh, okay, so for me, number one is also physical touch. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, number he's not as two. As he looks. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I mean like snuggles and and, and hugs. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. keep yeah. going, keep going. <laughs> number two. Uh, would be words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. Right. Then, uh, number three would be quality time. Number okay. four would be acts of service. And number five would be giving and receiving gifts. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. I like giving gifts as like a love language, as just, mm. uh, as just a thing. I like giving them and, and I also like receiving them, but they have to be small, thoughtful gifts as opposed to like big over the top presents because they, they yeah, then yeah. it's just awkward, you know, no, because what yeah. happens, it's like the thing when you're with someone at like Christmas and you haven't been together too long and no one bothered to mention a budget and they get something way more expensive. Than yeah. Oh, them. my God. <laughs> oh, that's so awkward. Uh, no, I. Uh, I, I agree with this. I mm -hmm. think, um, like, let's say a handmade bracelet. Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't have to be, like, expensive stones. It could be, like, plastic, whatever. Right. But if it's handmade, I, I would appreciate that a lot more than, I don't know, something expensive, but, like, like such a general gift. Like, I don't know. Right. Uh, something that was made with you in mind or, like, the time spent... That plays into your other love language, where it's time spent, quality time spent creating a gift for you. Yeah. <laughs> right? I'm seeing yeah. your layers here, Mr. Mr. Floros. I'm seeing them. <laughs> and I'm sure that will lead to some physical touch. Uh, so, <laughs> with that... Uh, oh, milady. Uh, will you boys ever get members? I'm so curious on that. Like, take my money, dears. We will. We will. We will. Uh, uh... We're having the badges currently designed. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We have our little munchkins working away on them. 
they are working hard, they're working fast, but there is a lot of work for them to do. So be patient. We are working as fast as we can to get it done. And we've also both already got, well, I think all of us actually have extra content planned for when the memberships do drop. I'll be doing extra ASMR. I'll also be doing uh, a few more interesting things, but uh, there's lots to be looking forward to. Be ready. We will be on the way. Yeah, uh, but I am going to say that members are not going to be here before the end of this month. Mm. 100% not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it's a difficult process, but we're working. But like I said, everyone's working really hard. And the longer we get to prepare, the more stuff we can actually throw to you when the time comes. So yeah, yeah. Be ready. Be ready. And the higher the quality. True, true, true. Hmm. Oh, uh, uh, Hitomi, the Zanny sneeze clipper here. You bastard. Um, I'll be working on that <laughs> sneeze compilation soon. Don't worry. <laughs> I will find you. <laughs> I will find you. And? And? No. and? No. It's, <laughs> it's wonderful. It's wonderful. I, I'm, uh, you did a wonderful job. It was very cute. You did a wonderful little compilation. Uh, I, I found it very cute. I wouldn't have shared it unless I, I really liked it. Uh, and of course... It, you did great. You did great. And it, I, your editing is actually really impressive as well. I want to say, I wish I could edit videos as well as you do. Um. Ooh, uh, while you're picking out the next one, let me just get through a few of these supers because people are being very, very kind this evening. Uh, oh, Manly yeah, Man, my love language is, mine is giving people all my money. Manly Man. <laughs> Manly Man. It's a spending kink. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, Manly Man. I deeply appreciate. I deeply appreciate. And as always, no obligation. You're wonderful. And obviously, you're just, you're delightful. You know that. You know that. You know that. <laughs> uh, this is great. Lucy being trouble again, of course. Of course. Ao Lucy? What did Lucy do? Lucy, you lurker. Lucy's being a lurker. Get him, Cass. Uh, NC's <laughs> Creator Corner. Head pats for you guys. Pat pat. <laughs> Thank you for the head pat pats. I do like them. I do like them. That that satisfies my need for physical touch. <laughs> for the day? <laughs> no, like for the minute. <laughs> for the minute. I, I need I need physical touch like every five to ten minutes when I'm with someone. I will latch on and I'll be like, I'm not I'm not being let go of. You're stuck with me. Otherwise, uh... I'll just get myself in trouble. Oh, Barry, Barry, Cass versus Zanny should have a sneeze off. Haha, <laughs> JK and Les. <laughs> I feel like in terms of cute sneezes, I, I win. In terms of cute sneezes, I win. Probably. I like... sneeze like an atomic bomb. I, I do like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the little, I am atomic. <laughs> the little <Yeah>. thing. <laughs> No, I've been told I sneeze like a kitten. Cute. It's like, hey, <laughs> shit. And I'm like, oh no. It's like a cartoon thing. I can't fake the fact that, like, I couldn't fake the, the sneezes if I tried. It's just the way I am. And it's something I fell into. And I can't, like, it, it, it's a thing. It's a thing. Oh, Munchier again. I just realized that three of the five members of Avalon are only being referred to by their nicknames and then you have gail and roscoe idk i think it's funny to me true true <laughs> we should start calling roscoe ross ross <laughs> we'll call him ross like from friends it, well it's it's just because yeah. well i can't say that their names already i guess for gail yeah his name is already super short mm. roscoe also has like two syllables just as uh, us like everyone else yeah i don't uh, know why they, we never gave roscoe a nickname you can't. Well, it's just we Ross. Could that's the only call thing him we Ross, could do. But that's a little weird for me. I don't know. Yeah, it feels too <laughs> normal for him. You know. Yeah. Like he's a zombie. Like, hi, Ross the zombie. Like, <laughs> Ross zombie. Uh. But yeah, no, I, I don't know. I, I mean, Zanny came about very naturally. Cass is just Cass, and. <laughs> And Lucy is, is again. It was those ones that came about quite naturally. 
Uh, oh, Milady, did someone say money? Here you go. Lucy called Cass a good boy. <laughs> oh. Huh? Oh, huh? oh, are you a good boy, Cass? <laughs> are you? <laughs> I'm curious. <Kimoy> <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Wes, I'm off to bed. Have yourself a damn good one. Well, thank you very much, Wes. You too, you too. Slumber well. If you're good, I might just visit you in your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wonderful, wonderful. Honestly, I this is this is actually such a delightful little stream. It's so cozy. It's so cozy. Oh, Leech, Lucy called Cass a power bottom yesterday. What? What? When was that? What? I, I see it. Um, I see it. Uh, uh. <laughs> what the hell? No, no. If I mean, I can. I, I think he did on the little Zatsu, I think. Oh, when he answered the questions? Yeah, I think I think one of them was like which yeah. which one which member of Avalon would you date or something like that? And and he said that you cause you're a power bottom? Okay. Is Lucy still here? I <laughs> I don't think we can argue with Lucy on this one. I see it. I wanna curse him. But you, that's your stream. Yeah. I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> nah, give me. <laughs> yeah. There you go. It's hot. Um. <laughs> oh, that's great. Ooh, Tulip. <laughs> Friends is my all-time favorite show. My mom and I would spend time watching it with snacks, and we watched it nine times all the way through. Oh, it is a classic show, though. It's a classic show. You know, they still do reruns of it on television in the United Kingdom. Oh, what? Really? Yeah, they still do reruns of it on TV, which is insane. <laughs> it's been like 30 years since the show was out, and they're still doing reruns. And that I have never seen that show before. I'm, I'm going to tell you already. <laughs> we live in the past. When, when, when I was living in the UK, we lived in the past. Like, we still, like, the, the cable TV was still showing shows from, like, the 90s, 2000s, and it, it's there. I can't believe you've never seen Friends. I guess... I didn't watch that much television. I don't know. I... <laughs> but then, then, then what did you do as a child? I, I ate dirt. You ate dirt? I, I ate dirt. You... You ate dirt? I, yeah. D I ate dirt. Are you trying to say that you played outside? Or were you just saying... No, I, I, I ate dirt. As your primary activity as a child, you <laughs> ate dirt. Your primary activity of a, as a child was consuming soil. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I was a child, you know? I, 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 I can't, I, no, <laughs> no, Cassian. <laughs> Cassian, please stop doing this to me. No. No. Look at my skin. It's flawless now. All that I, thanks to the dirt. The... The dirt. I... <laughs> I can't... I, you've actually... You, you've actually got me lost for words. You've actually got me lost for words. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. A, a, plant, a plant needs soil. Hmm. I, you're an elf. You're not a plant. <laughs> same thing. Same thing. I. Okay, okay, oh, okay. Should we just breeze past that? Let's just breathe. <laughs> let, 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 let's, just, let's just breeze past that. Next Mil question, <laughs> milady. I ate leaves as a child. We all did weird things. That's that's true. We did we did all do weird things. I have a good it, question. Hit me with it. Oh. You want to go ahead and continue? I, that, I was, I was going to just, here. I was going to hype you up for reading the question. That's it. Oh, <laughs> no. Okay. It says, <clears throat> hi, Zanny and Cassie. If Avalon is in an, an apocalypse, sorry, uh, together, who do you think will die first and who will survive last? Also might not catch the stream since it's super late for me, uh, but have fun today. Both of you have been doing so great with streams lately. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. But thank I didn't you. I didn't realize there was so much crossover with the nether drops, but there is. 
Ooh. Ooh. Also, well, yeah. Uh, hmm? Before you answer, while you think about your answer, and I think we should think about who would die first, right? Reasons hmm. for it. And, like, you know, we'll go logically with it. And while you <laughs> think of that, Baz. Uh, super from Baz. Thank you very much, Baz. In Cass's defense, same. Someone else also someone else also ate dirt as a child. Probably good <laughs> for the immune system. Like eating all that weird stuff probably trained my body to not get sick from it. I Yeah. No. I've heard of uh like no, actually, I've heard of um like for example, people who work on like farms and all, they uh actually get less often like they get sick less often. I, um, are you trying to tell me I should be eating dirt? Yeah. I, I feel like this is some <laughs> backwards ass free ranged children type thing. <laughs> you, you know, I, well, um, I, I guess it's just that you, if you eat dirt, it's not necessarily bad for you, though it's not healthy, of course. There, there are bacteria in, in like the, depending on the soil you eat, there is bacteria in there. I, but being exposed to that bacteria um, on a regular basis strengthens your immune system, I guess. I, I don't, I don't know the science behind it. Yeah, what you're saying, but I can't help but feel this. There must be a better way than eating dirt <laughs> to do this. <laughs> there must be. There must be. <laughs> Zombie apocalypse, why? Who dies first? Okay. Uh, do you want to, like... I don't know, because some of us have powers, but then there's Gale. I, mm, <laughs> mm, true, true, true. Let's so say you wanna, no like, powers. So you want to, like, clean up... Yeah, no powers. No powers, no powers. Um. Yeah, let's just say it's our... It's just our, like, personality type. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Like... Like the most reckless guy, or okay, it would still be Gale though. So Gale. <laughs> Gale would probably go from malnutrition because he would refuse to eat vegetables. Yeah, and <laughs> I feel like in your in the apocalypse, vegetables are going to be something like freeze dried rations, stuff like that. They're the things that are going to keep longer than like freeze dried meat. So. Mm. Gale would be in that position where he may have to eat vegetables, and I think he would just give himself to the walkers as soon as he realized he would. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Actually, I think I think he would give himself to the walkers because then he would become a zombie and be able to eat meat. <laughs> <laughs> Big brain. <laughs> <laughs> like that. That would be that would be his plan. That would be how he goes about it. Um, definitely that. Uh, what else would there be? I. I Part of me I, I is... mean, yeah. So, part of me says Gale, because obviously I... This is going to sound terrible when I say it. Mm -hmm. But Gale is very loud. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I agree. <laughs> and, like, he's a yapper. And I feel like you, you'd give away your position quite easily with, you know, the zombies. And yapping. Mm -hmm. And he would, you know, because he'd start talking, he'd start going on about something, he'd pick up a subject, like why carrots are evil or something, and he'd go and he'd go and he'd go, and 12 minutes would pass, and before he realized it, he would have brought the whole Walking Dead down upon wherever he was. Yeah, I can see that actually happening. <laughs> 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 well, and then who would survive the longest? Who's the most careful out of us and tenacious <laughs> i would put my money on you really that's funny because i was i was about to put my money on you who see i would say that i would be the second to last to go and then you would be the final okay. guy and mm. i would say that just because of the fact that you have that understanding of sort of survival you know how to look after yourself you are very careful you're very methodical with what you do you know uh mm. Whereas I'm more, I plan, and I plan to improvise, and then I try and brute force my way out. <laughs> <laughs> it just reminds me of like the punch machine, because you you were like oh, second yeah. on the punch machine. 
in in uh, in Japan. So like, if I need to punch something really hard, I can be the Daryl Dixon to your Rick Grimes. <laughs> 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 no, guys, you don't know. Zanny's punch was atomic. <laughs> atomic. <laughs> It was crazy. The whole building shook. <laughs> oh, I did, did, did the whole building didn't <laughs> shake. I I do have a good punch on me though. I will say, but Cass wasn't too far behind at all. Um, I saw someone say in chat that Roscoe is already like dead, and that's why he would survive. But mm. uh, like we were like clearing every ability, so no magic. No demonic powers, no undead powers. We're basically human, everyone. Mm -hmm. I mean, technically, even if Roscoe was surviving, he's dead to begin with, so that disqualifies him, doesn't it? Nah, that's true, that's true, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? I feel like that, that makes sense, that makes sense. And actually, as you look for the next question, here's a throwback for you. Do you remember we all got those coins made when we were in Japan? Oh, yes. There yeah, we go. So for anyone who wants a little story here, uh, everyone from FSP, all of the Avalon boys, were walking around in Japan and we got to one of those coin press machines and we actually had coins uh, pressed and made with each of our names on them with a little custom design in the middle. And it was very sweet. And all five of us have matching coins with our names on. And they've kind of become a part of the group law. I still have mine. I thought I lost it during the airport oh. trip, but I, I found it again. And I was really sad that I, I thought I'd lost it, but I, I, I'm not going to lose that. It's part of the shared law at this point, you know? Mm -hmm. I got my coin uh, right next to uh, right next to me in the in the bookshelf. Mm. Ooh, I, I have mine also. Uh, I, I'm going to lean across you. Don't don't worry. I'm not trying to reach around, but uh, <laughs> uh, it's just it's just uh, here it is. Here it is. I've got it right right here with me. Um, and it it's literally just right next to me whenever I'm in Club Netherbrand, which is nice. I always I always keep it as a little you know memento, as it were. I can hear it. Yeah. Uh, clanking a little <laughs> we'll, we'll asmr this really quick yay <laughs> see how my mouth goes with the with the, with the oh coin. yeah yeah i see i see it <laughs> <laughs> say me 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 <laughs> i have a good question here uh it says what are your top three pet peeves oh so like Top X, right? Peeves. Yep, the X, the X. Okay, I'm going to like narrow this down to like three things that would also immediately make the person the most unattractive individual in the world to me. <laughs> okay. One, bad personal hygiene. Ooh, yeah, good one. Very like, good one. Uh, I mean this in the nicest way, but brush your fucking teeth and use deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> In the nicest way? In the nicest <laughs> way. In the nicest way, brush your fucking teeth and use deodorant, okay? It's not difficult. It takes two minutes to brush your teeth. It takes 30 seconds to put deodorant on, okay? Touch some fucking grass, brush your teeth, use deodorant. It's simple. Okay, I... <laughs> Friendly fires on with that one. Friendly fires. Very... L literally basic hygiene. Exactly. Literally basic hygiene. Um, Just like a lack of that. Uh, next thing, number two, numero dos, chewing with your mouth open. Yeah. Do, you don't have lock jaw. Chew with your mouth open. You, you don't have rabies. Okay, you don't have lock jaw. You, you could, you, you can keep your lips shut and chew. It's, it's, <laughs> it's so simple. It's so simple. Uh. And of course, the last one. Last one, okay. It's it's a bit of a weird one, right? But being a buzzkill is really unattractive to me. And by that I mean the kind of weird, like kind of bitchy mean girl outlook. Like whenever someone's excited about something and you bring them down about it, or like mm. 
try and like kill someone's good mood by like if if you were like really excited about uh i don't know uh something something that was that was that was hyped you cassian what, what's something that's hyped to you uh uh i don't know let's say uh vtubing vtubing you're really hyped about getting a new asset for for your vtubing and i i walk in being a, a miserable little whatever and you're you're there talking about how good it is and i say oh it's just a stupid asset is it it's just a, it's just an asset like i don't really yeah, see the point yeah. like <laughs> you can get a million of those like what are you happy about huh what are you happy about like no don't kill someone else's vibe like i'm i'm sorry your life is so miserable you need to bring other people down to your level but at the same time shoot um shoot be gone uh <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's 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 my my three X. Those are my three X. Uh, personal hy oh. bad personal hygiene, chewing with your mouth open, and an overt negativity. <clears throat> okay, uh, for me, I I think I, I'm not gonna rate them in like in order or anything. Uh, I think for me, it's probably number one, um, bad hygiene, same as you. Uh, number two. For me, personally, if you are, or if my, like, date is uh, rude to, like, service people, then oh. they can get the hell out of here. That's they a can, good one. They can leave. That's a really good one. I've seen this too often, and every time I see it, I, ooh, my whole body, like, it gets a ick. <laughs> I, I actually do have a story where someone who I was on a date with was rude to the service people, but I'll tell you, I will tell you of that after I hear your third ick. Mm. Uh, let me think about it and you can read the super. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Tulip, 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 my dear. I had art block for a while now, but I'm currently drawing you, Zanny. It should be done later, and so far I'm really liking it. Oh, well, let me know once you've finished. Uh, d you know, put it on the hashtag NetherRiz, and what I'll do is I'll have a look for sure. I check it regularly. If I don't check it tonight, then it will definitely be checked tomorrow. And uh, I do also have I have my little my little demons who occasionally send me things that they really like that I might have missed. And yes, yes. I also need to make a tag for assets because I don't have an asset tag and I realize that I don't and and I need to do that. So I need to think of a funny play on like nether, nether brand that also has like asset on it as well. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll think of something. I'll probably like be like, oh look, it's, it's nether ass or something like that. But <laughs> <laughs> Nether ass? <laughs> nether ass, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But yes, uh, you, you've, you've had your time bought, Cassian. You've had your time bought. What is your final ick? Okay, uh, so I was thinking about it, and I, I think my final ick is probably when they... Um, how should I put it? Um, wait. <laughs> I have a blackout right now. <laughs> um, okay. So when they're just, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. They're not aware of their surroundings. Like they, they talk super loud. Like, I don't know, let's say in a pub public place and everyone is like trying to be quiet or like trying to enjoy their time. And they're mm -hmm. just like almost yelling all around. They, they don't like look around. They, they walk over the street without like looking for cars. They, they don't, you know. They ignore everything around them and just like feel like they're the main character. I don't know. That's just like, come on. Look around okay. you. You're not alone here. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Like those sort of inconsiderate, like caught up in their own world vibes. Yeah, yeah. It's like a thing. I hate to say it, but like that that the, the influencer syndrome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you know. Calm down. <laughs> You're uh, 400 followers on Instagram. Are not gonna follow you anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I don't know what the whole um, I don't know. I, I don't know how you can cross the street without looking for cars. I I need to even on like a one way. I'm like, what if I get hit? <laughs> I remember when I was staying in the U.S. I didn't have health insurance for the time I was there, and I was the most careful I've been in my life. I was like, mm. if I slip and fall, I'm in debt for the rest of my existence. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was so careful. I, I was like, I was getting an ice rink and I was like, I can't go there. Stay away from me. I was like, so careful going downstairs. I was like holding the handrail for everything. I was never jumping. I was like, I was so aware that if I, if I fall and I need to get, like go to the hospital, that's my, I, I'll be working. My, my grandchildren's nieces will be paying off that debt. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's it for me. Mm. Uh, I have a another question right here. Um, it says, hi, Cassie and hi, Zanny. Uh, number one, it's three questions in one, actually. Uh, so mm. number one, do you wash your rice? There's only one. Like, I'm going to let you I, go first. I mean... I do I wash my rice? Yes. Um, do you wash your rice? Well, I mean, oh, why would why, why would you buy new rice when you can just you know just 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 wash the old rice? <laughs> no, um, <laughs> no, no, um, uh, I don't wash my rice. Ha! Huh? Oh shit! Oh, you you're gonna anger a lot of people now. I don't wash my rice. Bring it on. Ah uh, shit! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Bring it on! Bring it on! I don't wash my rice. I don't wash my rice, and I'm unashamed of it. I what I do is I get boil in the bag rice. I slap it in my saucepan. I turn on the the heat to boil. I boil it for thirty minutes. I take it out. I put it in whatever dish I'm making. Okay. <laughs> I've even had it where uh, I've turned around and I've accidentally tried to uh, tried to fold an omelette with chopsticks. I've broken the omelette and I've decided to turn it into the scrambled eggs. I've realized the rice cooking on the side. I throw the rice in and then I go, oh, this is how the Japanese discovered scrambled egg, uh, they discovered egg fried rice. Oh, oh. <laughs> I recreated no. history in my kitchen before. But there's so much starch on it. But it's been boiled in water. What? Yeah. It's not like it's going to disappear. No, but like the starch gets carried away by the water. No. Yes. If you if you boil starched water, you're going to get get rests of starch in like in your pan or whatever. Yeah, but like it's in the pan. It's not in the rice. Is your rice not in the pan? It's in the pan, but it's in a bag in the pan. <laughs> what the? I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I get <laughs> boil in the bag rice. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Okay. Okay. Um. So you 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 boil your you make your rice in a, in a pan in a saucepan or what? So what I do is just to respond to these supers. You want to talk about gas eating dirt? Yes, dirt is dirt is worse than eating just starchy rice. Okay. Unsub, this man is no longer my Oshi. <laughs> no, 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 wait, 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 hear me out, hear me out. So, I buy rice that's pre portioned in plastic bags, right? And it's got these little holes in. And what I do is I take the rice and I put it in the boiling water, right? And it boils. And there's no need to wash the rice because it's already in the bag, right? So, the starch gets pulled out of the rice through the holes in the plastic bag rice. <laughs> and then I simply fish the rice out with a knife. And the rice is ready to eat when you cut the bag open. Okay, um, let me just say, <laughs> buying rice in a small bag, like Uncle Ben's, I assume, or something like that. No, 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 it's, it's in a cardboard box, right? And okay. it has four small plastic bags of rice inside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you gotta, you, you know, okay. So the high quality rice, you know, the shit, the actual shit. Um, you go to an Asia market and then you buy these 20 kilos, uh, like 20 kilo rice bags. That you like put over your shoulder and carry them to your car or, or whatever you're with right now. Right. Th this is the shit. That's the that's the real shit. And um, if you're if you're good, 
there's like a like a Chinese dragon or something like that on the on the bag as well. Yeah. That's <laughs> cool. Thank you for the thank you for the super. Congratulations on the first ever super to the channel. Much respect for that. Zanny, please wash your rice. No, it doesn't need to be washed. It's already in the bag. It's ready to go. It's ready yeah. to go. Zanny, then... they never brand. I love you, no para, but you clearly have never known good rice. <laughs> no, no, as called the Mooney, please no. Please, 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 please. Uh, like, I did. The, the rice is already in the plastic bag, right? Mm. If I was to cut the bag and wash the rice, then the rice would escape when I boiled it. It's meant to be in mm. the bag when you boil it. The instructions aren't in English, so I can't be sure, but they're not meant to be in. Wait. Wait, what? The rice stays in the bag and then you boil it? Yes, you boil the rice in the plastic bag. Because there are little plastic? holes in it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, that's a new technique. <laughs> I, I thought, like, quote unquote, most norm normal people, like, not normal, but like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, just get the get the b bag of rice and then they, they pour it into the saucepan or whatever they use and then they it's just spoil it. Yeah, no, no, no. These, 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 these come like ready to boil in the bag. God damn! Like, I love <laughs> plastic. <laughs> Bugs like spiders can be in your unwashed rice, leech. That's why you boil it to kill whatever's inside for the extra protein. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, uh... There are so many of these supers coming in. I think I've said something. Um, tulip again. Wait, I know what you're talking about. In instant rice, right? Like the one you have to boil for around 10 minutes. It's like a single portion. Yes, yes, yes. Except my rice has to be boiled for 30 minutes because I only eat brown rice or wholemeal rice. Um, mm. And uh, and hide, wash rice, please. You don't need to wash it. It's ready to go. Like you can wash normal rice, but I don't wash my normal rice either. I just sort of throw it in because it's already in the water, you know? Um. Okay. I really, I really like advise you to buy a rice cooker because it's it's making the process a lot easier, of, like making rice. Rice. And cooker. I know you might you might say like, oh, but its own only purpose is like to make rice, and you know I don't need another gadget to make rice when I can make it in a saucepan. But uh, you will love it. It's made like you. Pour the rice into it. You wash the rice. You fill it with water. You you can check like with, either with your fingers or uh, with like the um, writings inside the the um, rice cooker's bowl. Yeah, okay. and um, and then you close the lid. You press one button, and it makes perfect rice for you. I I I, I want that. I do, I do, I do. And I actually yeah, wanted to you... steal the rice cooker from the hotel in Japan we were in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> because I remember I saw it was empty and it did this perfect sticky rice. And I was like, I kind of low key want that. Could that fit in like my bag? Could I make a go of that? Oh, uh, Kazuhu had, Ka... Kazuha Deo, Kazuhu Deo. Uh, my ancestors are going to be so disappointed. Oh. Silence wind twink. <laughs> um, <laughs> Kazaha was a wind twink. Okay, maple syrup boy. Maple syrup boy. Maple syrup boy. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, but yeah, the rice cookers are not expensive. Like, you can get some cheap ones for like, I don't know, 30 bucks. Okay, okay. I might actually get one then. Like I w yeah. when I move, when I move because I'm 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 preparing myself to go on a long journey to move Club Netherbrand to a separate location. Uh I will definitely get myself a rice cooker complete with I need to learn these new modern human appliances. <laughs> modern. <laughs> Indeed, it's space age to me. <laughs> Cass is teaching me how to how to live a basic existence, you know. Next, <laughs> next thing you know, Cass is going to be turning around and recommending that I buy cutting boards instead of just cutting things on the top of Tupperware. 
Oh, you gotta be, you gotta be kidding. No. <sighs> no. <laughs> no, I don't own cutting boards. I just get, cause like the, the Tupperware has a plastic lid, right? Oh. And like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you, you flip the Tupperware lid over so it's on the flat side, and you just cut what you need on there. And like, you're not gonna, <laughs> and you're not gonna break the Tupperware lid because it's plastic. Like, you're not gonna cut through it; it's thick. So you just use that as a cutting board. <laughs> oh my god, how many? Okay, how many <laughs> kitchen gadgets do you even like? Quote unquote gadgets. I feel like a cutting board is a necessity, Wait. but like. <laughs> Do you own a knife, a fork, one I spoon? Own, I own knives, forks, spoons, plates, bowls. Um, I mean, just name a gadget and I'll tell you whether or not I own it. Um, okay. You, okay. You, I, I bet you drink protein shakes, right? Yes. Okay, so you have a blender. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, but I, I, I guess not having a blender can be excused, though. Okay. Uh, um, yeah. What, what else is the thing I don't own? I don't own a microwave. You don't own a microwave? I don't own a microwave. Do you have an oven? Yes. Okay. That's um, sort of a replacement. I don't own a kettle. I boil everything on my stove in a pan. What? <laughs> you don't. <laughs> Own a kettle? Yeah, I, bur I I boil everything in a saucepan and then just pour the water by eye. So, I'm yet wait. to burn myself. <laughs> it's like thirty bucks for a, like a decent kettle. Why would I do that when I could just boil it in a saucepan? I can't. I can't. I actually can't. <laughs> Holy um, shit, not even a kettle. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no kettle, no microwave, um, no, no cutting board. Um, I have like two, two sharp knives. I have, I have, a, I have, <laughs> I have like a, a, a small sharp knife for cutting vegetables and a big sharp knife for cutting meat. <sighs> and then I have like regular cutlery. Um, okay. Uh, I don't own any like plastic bowls either. I just use the Tupperware for that. Like if I need to mix anything. What? Yeah, I don't oh, own. How any... many? Do you own like fifty Tupperwares instead of like having bowls and? No, no, I have four Tupperwares. Okay, sometimes sometimes you need more than that though. Yeah, that's why. At the same time. To, that's why I, I I wash them. Oh. Just get more. <laughs> but but why? Uh, <laughs> if if it's stupid and it works, then it isn't stupid. <laughs> you know you know what a mise en place is? No. It's basically when when you like prepare everything, like every ingredient and every like um basically every gadget that you will need. You place on the counter, uh, and like like I said, oh, that's a all the ingredients. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gordon so you... Ramsay spoke about it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Wait, 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 Milady Nikki. Cass is dying right now. I'm so sorry to subject <laughs> you to this guy. Oh my god! No, people are sending. People are sending supers <laughs> for Tupperware or for kitchenware for, for things that aren't Tupperware. Yeah, please. Please use these funds. <laughs> it told me, bro, at this point, just take my money and get yourself some actual kitchen appliances, <laughs> please. I, oh my God. I, I mean, I, I suppose if I'm being peer pressured, I might get myself like a kettle. Um, okay, at, at least that. Uh, funds for kitchen gadgets, Zanny. Please, you're hurting me. <laughs> Aaron Light. No, 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 no. I, I, the, the kitchen gadgets make sense. Okay, they, I, I, fine, fine. I can, I can, I can. I'll, I'll get a cutting board with that. I'll get a cutting board. Okay, okay. and it'll be a good one. It'll be, it'll be a one made of wood, and I won't cut meat on it because that's <laughs> terrible. Um, or a plastic one. No, wait, get carry on. Correo, adding to the Zanny cutting board slash kitchen appliance fund for the love that all that's holy. 
unholy, get a cutting board at least. I love you, no power up, bro, but this is insane. <laughs> I mean, like, it, it makes sense. It makes it makes sense. You don't like. I, I I will. I'll get a cutting board. Um, I won't get a microwave because I have to move. I don't want to move a microwave with me. And I have an oven, and I don't need my food getting hit with radiation. And because um, <laughs> that's what the lady on on YouTube said. She said that microwaves put, give your food radiation. And um, <laughs> oh my god. And um. Eden, kitchen appliance fund, Zanny, please. I, I, I will, I will, I will, I will. I'll get, I'll get kitchenware. <laughs> I promise, I will. I'm so sorry, Eden. This is. Oh, as a quote again. Um, here's another fund for Zanny's kitchen gadgets. I tried to erase the rice memory from my head. Okay, I will get a rice cooker as well. I'll even go so far as to get a rice cooker. I promise. Bakugo, my son. Someone just go check his kitchen and get the shopping for him, please. <laughs> no. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll even get more than, like, two pans. I'll get more pans. Yeah. I have I have two frying pans. I have... I have two frying pans and i want i want proof images on twitter when you buy them i will i will i will <laughs> okay. i will i will show you the purchase of of these new uh, kitchenware items <laughs> i'll show you like each piece as i get it i'll be like this is my this is my new um my new pan and this is my new bowl and this is my new tupperware because I feel like I need new Tupperware because all of my Tupperware has knife marks on it now. Kaz? Hey. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were glaring at me for that. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was reading Chad. <laughs> oh, Chad, Chad are just boiling me alive at this point. Yeah, I, I see it. <laughs> Jewel, boil in the bag rice fund. <laughs> Thank you, Jewel. Thank you, <laughs> Firefly Task. <laughs> Thank you for the first ever super chat, Firefly. More kitchen appliance funds, please. I'm crying. This is giving me damn you live like this energy. See, here's the, <laughs> here's the joke of it, though. The place where I live before I moved in, they just had the kitchen freshly renovated. So it's a really nice kitchen, but it's completely empty and it has nothing inside of it. So like it was it was all done. And like the landlord was like, Mr. Netherbrand, this place is going to live up to a good standard. You know, I, I think you're getting this very cheap for what it is. And I'm like, yeah, yes, yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. She's like, yes, the kitchen's been fresh to be done. It's a proper, proper countertops and uh, uh, an induction stove. And I'm like, that's cool. I have like two pans to put on it. I don't I don't actually have baking trays either. What? What do you so, put in your oven? So, um, <laughs> so, uh, I, I, people are still roasting me. Um, <laughs> yeah. Lion Bunny chat right now. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> I bought pans for my, for my induction stove, right? And you know how induction stoves work? They, they, they use magnets to heat the bottom of the pans. Well, the pans that I bought originally were aluminum, right? Yeah. Or like, or like metal cast. So the magnets didn't work to heat the bottom of the pans. Because they weren't magnetized, right? So okay. <laughs> what I did was I unscrewed the handles from the pans and I turned them into... Um, I turned them into like baking trays, so I would put oh the my stuff in god. there, and then I'd put them in. The... Oh my god, you got to be kidding me! <laughs> no, oh. no, I used my toolbox and I unscrewed the the handles from the baking tray from the. No, they're not baking tray. Well, they are now, but from the pans that didn't work, and I put them in the oven as baking trays. <laughs> oh, that's so. That's so like five minutes craft kind of <laughs> things. What the. F Frick! <laughs> like you gotta be kidding me! Oh my god! Most of them just have like one screw. You just get a screwdriver. You just jimmy it a little bit, and you're there. <laughs> you can just buy a tray for like five bucks. Yeah, but why do that when I already bought like 
you know, pans that didn't work. Aaron, like, more funds for new Tupperware too now. <laughs> Thank you. Aww. I'll show everyone my new Tupperware. I will. I'll be like, this is my new Tupperware. Look at it. <laughs> Look at my new Tupperware. It doesn't have knife marks in it anymore. Um, <laughs> throws, <laughs> Milady Nikki throws Tupperware at cutting board pans and bowls at you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay, I'm gonna have bowls and cutting wet, and, and I'm gonna be so good. This is gonna be like a Michelin star kitchen when I'm done. It's, Michelin star kitchen. Okay. <laughs> yes. I always find it so weird that the man, that the big rubber tire man, decided where it was good to eat. Um. But yes. <laughs> um. Eden funds for some baking pans. I need to make the money. <laughs> I, <laughs> Zanny, you need a house husband. No, I am the house husband. I am the house husband. You, 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 you see? Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's still coming. Rin. Rin just sent a sad emoji. <laughs> I'm sorry for disappointing you all. I can cook really good with what I've got, though. Like, I can cook really good with what I've got. It's really impressive. Like, genuinely. Yeah. I, like, I can cook a perfect steak. I can cook, like, some really good food. Like, a good chili, a good curry. Like, I don't share food pics very often. But, like... Actually, I did I did share one with you, which was the the salmon that I did. I braised a salmon. It was oh, months yeah. and months back. It came out beautiful. If you look at that picture, it's actually in one of the pans. One of the baking oh. tray pans. If you look at it. <laughs> Everyone was commenting, all the Avalon boys were like, that's a beautifully done uh, roasted bit of salmon. I'm like, yeah, no one knows it's in, it's in one of the oven pans. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. There are still people roasting me in, in here with super sad, sad face. Yeah. Lion Deserve. Bunny, here's Cassian's mental sanity funds. Hashtag save Cass. We love you, kids. <laughs> Oh gosh. Uh Eden, your house husband's status has been revoked. Hide cast save us. <laughs> Chris, Zanny Kitchen Fun. <laughs> I, I I I don't worry, don't worry. I think we're we we we're getting there. Um Myvan, please, just just please. Um Evelyn, I mean to be lurking, but your lack of kitchen necessities brought me here to say get a kettle. At least get a kettle. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So, lady, I'm a house husband. Casually throws out all this info. <laughs> uh, listen. The listen. Wait, one, go, chance, no, sorry, sorry. one chance to defend myself, Cass. Okay, go ahead. I might not be the most conventional house husband, but goddamn, I'd look good in just an apron. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't save you. That doesn't save you. You you won't get the the pretty treatment. <laughs> okay, fine, fine, baby. Oh, Tava, Zani, when you post proof of your new kitchen, uh, kitchen stuff, I will throw my art block away and draw you. <laughs> okay, okay, there will be new kitchen stuff. It will be piecemeal. I will pick out the best pieces. Hmm. You better. <laughs> I will pick out acceptable kitchen items. I swear you could get cheap. I'm still being roasted. I'm so sorry, Cass. There are so <laughs> many supers just just telling me what how terrible I am. Um, I swear you could keep get get cheap baking trays from Poundland. Use this for that. <laughs> Lucy is the only real house husband. Ace it telling me where to get baking trays. Leech telling me that Lucy's the house husband. I'm the house husband. Okay. Oh, this is. This is a good one. Do you even have an apron? <laughs> I don't want to answer that question. <laughs> I don't want to answer that question. I feel targeted. I feel targeted. I don't feel ready to answer that question. Okay, leave me and my drawer full of plastic spices alone. <laughs> okay, I get spices, not in like things, but I get them in plastic bags. <laughs> you know the little like bags you rip open? The paper, yeah, yeah, yeah. the paper plastic bag. <laughs> I just have a drawer full of those. Oh my god. Well, um, <laughs> I've we, got no apron. <laughs> but obviously, we went stray with with the question. <laughs> we, 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 <laughs> we, we, mistakes were made. Mistakes, mistakes were most certainly made.
<laughs> um, well, you know, the second question was like, this was only one of the three questions. Uh, the, the second question was sweet or salty popcorn. Uh, kind of <laughs> toning I, down a little bit. Yeah, I feel like we need to take a step down from where we were. <laughs> <laughs> My my abject uh, um, <clears throat> I love salty popcorn. I really I really just love salty things in general. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I agree. I also yeah. like salty salty popcorn. Yeah, absolutely love love just just just, just really just anything you know. Just the just the, the taste of salt is good. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Andrew uh, Murasaki. Since I turned on the stream, I've had a huge smile on my face. I love you guys, non-parasocial. LMAO, <laughs> we love you too, non-parasocially. Um, <clears throat> the last question is, pain au chocolat ou pain au chocolatine? Oh, tricky one. I'm gonna say- Do you know the difference? Uh, no. That's why it's tricky. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Gale just joined? Wait, Gale, I thought you were meant to be Minecrafting. Oh, I think he just beat the Ender Dragon. Oh, congratulations on beating the Ender Dragon. I've never done that Congrats. in Minecraft. <laughs> congratulations. Everyone was roasting me because of my, my kitchen status, and then uh th and then we, we jumped to popcorn, and that was great. <laughs> That was great. Mistakes were made. Um, but yes, uh, but, but what was the question again, Cassian? Uh, the question was, do you prefer pain au chocolat or pain au chocolatine? Yes, what's the difference? Chad, explain the difference. There's Because I, I know pain au chocolat is like chocolate. Well, the, the, the pain au chocolat is basically a... Um, a, uh, I don't want to say it's a croissant. It's it's not really a croissant. Oh, but it's oh like I know made, what those are. I know what those it's are. It's like a. It's, it's a, the same. I think it's the same. Uh, sorry. Uh, I, I've had them before. I know what they are now. They're 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 the they're the they're the croissants with with chocolate sticks shoved inside. I think that's, the pain au chocolatine. Oh. I'm not sure though, or or maybe it's the it's the other way around. Or I I know there's like a. I know there's the one that's curly with two chocolate sticks shoved in it and then like rolled and then there's the one which is just a chocolate croissant huh well that's like the 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 way kids do it right you just get a chocolate bar and then you shove it into into some bread that but the actual like pain au chocolat is is like um it's like the same i think it's like the same dough technique or like it's like the folding technique you do like with croissant and then there's also like chunks of chocolate in there i i think i just like i i don't know the the the, the cheap one the the one with chocolate inside <laughs> i'm sorry i don't think i'm i'm quite as refined as you cassian <laughs> oh okay it's it's only about the name there's no difference in there's no <laughs> I've been deceived. Okay, I've been <laughs> deceived. I've been bloody deceived. I okay. I'll, I, okay, that okay, Cassian. Okay, Cassian. I'd say we have time for what? Two, three more questions. Three more questions. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's, Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> okay. I, I. I mean, I say pain au chocolat. Pen. I say chocolate pain? croissant. <laughs> 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 <clears throat> <laughs> Hi, I Cassie, say... can we hear you speak French again? Oh. <sighs> Paint me like one of your French girls, Mr. Flores. Monsieur Mais, Flores. Uh, mais non, je ne pense pas que ce soit approprié maintenant. Mais, uh, ouais. <laughs> no, uh, no, it's, it's, it's fine. Let's, um... Mon Dieu. Continue with another question. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, what else do we have? Oh, okay. What Pokemon would each Avalon member be? Gengar. Uh, there we go. Done. Um, <laughs> That'll be you, yeah. Yeah, that's me. I'm, I'm Gengar. Um, 
I, mm. I would, I'd be game. What would you be? I think I'd be Snivy and its evolution line. Uh, so superior. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, Nico, Cass, can you speak some German, please? Need food. Well, 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 uh, Cass, how do you feel about throwing a little German after we finish naming everyone Pokemon? <clears throat> um. Yeah, kein Problem. Ich kann auch ein bisschen in Deutsch reden, uh, aber fokussieren wir uns ein bisschen auf, uh, auf, auf die Fragen, okay? <laughs> How does he even manage to make German sound hot? <laughs> How, what do you mean? <laughs> of all the languages, right? Like, it's so, German's so harsh as a language that you somehow, somehow make it sound smooth and buttery as, it, as if it's asking me, you know, do you like that, Xander? Do you like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he knows what he's doing, doesn't he? He knows what he's doing. <laughs> yeah. I've done, I've done uh, voice acting in different languages. Ooh, fancy. Yeah. Fancy. <laughs> <laughs> My voice acting activities have been confined solely to English. Uh, let me think. I want to give... Is there a zombie Pokemon? I don't think there's a zombie Pokemon. I was right. thinking the nearest thing would be like Romtom for Roscoe. Rotom? Ro Romtom. Like the ghost Pokemon? Romtom. Romtom. Is it called Rotom? Is that how it's pronounced? Yes. Yeah. Rotom. Rotom, not Romtom. No, there's no additional M. <laughs> uh, I think I'm just going to go <laughs> die now. I think I'm just going to go die. <laughs> yeah, Rotom. Um, Rotom. Uh, the shiny version is, is actually pink, so that, that fits. <laughs> he'd, he'd probably be... Which one, which one of the Rotoms? Probably Rotom Heat, I'd say. So, like, uh, yeah. the oven. Okay, okay. <laughs> Gail, what about the scarlet and violet graveyard doggies? Oh! What? Yes! That's what is, so good! Is this some deep internet lore I'm not aware of? No, 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 no. It's, uh, the, the uh, in the new game, there's a Pokemon, um, that, wait, let me find it real quick. Scarlet and violet... There's a new Pokemon. It's called... Game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um... What? Have you not heard of Scarlet and Violet? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's been out for no. a while. I've been out of the loop for a while. Listen, I just got here from the underworld. Is that the one where you travel back in time? Uh, no, that's uh, Legends Arceus. Oh. Arceus. Yeah. Um, so there's one that's called Houndstone. And it's basically just a skeleton dog with oh. a tombstone on his head. I, they really ran out of ideas a while back, didn't they? <laughs> it's actually it's pretty really, cool. It's really interesting because, like, the the. Actually, no, I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't throw that one out. That's a fact point. I can't actually share about about it. I'll get demonetized. <laughs> no. Uh. So. Drake, skull, skull grave doggy for for Roscoe. Mm. Gale is Squawkabilly. Squawkabilly. I, I don't know. That's what also that a new. Yeah, it's it's also a new Pokemon. Okay, <laughs> and, Scarlet and Violet. And Lucy is. Um, do we want to go for the bats, or do you think that's I, too st stereotypical? I mean, <clears throat> I feel like he could be like a crowbat. Crowbat, yeah, maybe like, or the Neu Neuvern line, Neubad and Oh, Neuvern. true, true, true. I'm not a Squawkabilly, you fucking dork, according to Gale. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It has Squawk in the name, and Squawk is awfully similar to Yap. <laughs> yeah, so. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, I see your logic there. I see your logic there, Cassian. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, I'm simply a Gengar. Nothing new, nothing old. It's a classic. <laughs> it's like a vintage car. It is a classic. Uh, let's say one more question, okay? Okay, sure thing, sure thing. Okay, let me find a good one. Um... <clears throat> uh, 
Okay. Okay. If Avalon were a family, who would be who? Gayla's daddy. Well, um, um, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh. that was a little bit too fast. Oh, oh, oh! That was that was that was instinctive. That was instinctive. <laughs> that was instinctive. Oh. Okay, okay. Let me let let me. Lion, Lion Bunny. Uh, hello, YouTube. The moment I opened the stream, I was in the middle of the kitchen saga, and since I was in a sad mood, I was quickly able to smile and laugh again. So thank you, too. It's great to see two of my Oshis in one fun stream. Well, we're glad we were able to turn your mood around, and we were glad uh, we were able to pick things up, and we want to keep you smiling and laughing and just with our ridiculous nonsense, and we definitely have to do this again. We, we, we definitely have yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. We've had one turn here. I, I feel like I owe Cassian a trip over to his treehouse. And <laughs> this is wonderful. And yes, we're glad we were able to make you smile. And thank you so much for being here. Because your support and being here makes Club Netherbrand run. I think... um, ah, I want to, I want to say I, it's... You're the grandma, probably. <laughs> I, I'm the grandma. <laughs> yeah, you're the grandma. I think chat can agree with this. I... And apparently, I have to be the mother. <laughs> the the gra no, I am not. Yeah, the, I am <laughs> not the grandma. I am not the grandma. I, and then, the, <laughs> then what the fuck is Lucy? Lucy is the wine aunt. The, the, the this is just a series of strangely connected relatives that all seem to have deep problems. <laughs> and then uh, Roscoe, of course, is the kid. Ro Roscoe, <laughs> yeah, Roscoe was left on our doorstep at some point. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're the mom. I'm Ugh, fine, fine, fine. I'll take, I'll take, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take being being the 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 wise the wise elder. I'll do it. I'll. <laughs> Yes, I suppose since I do get confused at all the new stuff. <laughs> Although, I am seeing the occasional shout that Zanny has to be the sexy uncle. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I've seen how that story normally goes. Um, but I see... I, I definitely see Roscoe as the kid. I see Cass as yeah. like... I see Cass as like a motherly, yeah, a very motherly figure or like very nurturing in general. Mm. Um, and uh, yeah, Lucy, I don't know, G Gail, what's Gail? What do we say Gail? You said Father. Gail is the dad. But he's yeah. daddy, right? Yeah. <laughs> Zaddy. <laughs> Z Zaddy. Uh, <laughs> uh, Terrible. You're terrible. You make me worse. I love it. I love this for us. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, does that mean you and Gail are married in this AU? If he's the mother and you're, if if you're the father and he's the mother, and no, if he's yeah. the mother and if you're the mother and he's the father. Apparently, <laughs> Gail sent a pregnant emoji. D I mean, I'm pregnant. <laughs> Hold on, Gail. I'm not off stream yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you can do that later <laughs> I, mean, I show some patience gail <laughs> <laughs> all right uh i think that was the last question we had time for though yeah okay wonderful so on that note thank you all for coming out to today's stream it has been an absolute pleasure to have Cass here with me. We've been an absolute mess and this has been wonderful. And of course, uh, Cass will be back tomorrow with some... What are you streaming tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow? Wait, tomorrow's Wednesday. I, I have a day off. It's Wednesday. your day off. Oh, <laughs> yeah. then I'll be back tomorrow. I will be... What am I streaming tomorrow? Uh, <laughs> I, swear, I swear. Oh, Mooney the Spoonie. Uh, I uh, I just this morning got around to adding Avalon to my VTuber Sims world, and it's been a chaotic ride. Lucina has developed an intense obsession with cross stitch. Gail is trying to raise a baby. Good times. <laughs> we should do like an Avalon Sims thing at some point. That's actually an idea. We that would be Avalum funny. Sim. That would be such a mess if we just gave them high free will. Well, hmm. uh, I will be back tomorrow 
uh, morning with morning coffee, uh, same time as usual. And then after that, I'll be finishing my date with death stream tomorrow uh, as well. So if all of you want to see me turn around and say how, you know, uh, d death might be a dude, but I'm still going to try for a kid with him. Well, we'll, we'll go go see how that turns out, because uh, I, I plan to be absolutely sinful with him. And <laughs> of course, feel free to swing by. Uh, we're just going to read the last couple of supers that have been sent. Even thank you so much for the stream. This has been so much fun. My face hurts from smiling so much. And <laughs> well, trust me, my face hurts from smiling too. You are all wonderful. And this has been a blast. I had no idea how this would go, but this has been awesome. And Tulip, have a nice day. Enjoy your kitchen stopping. Thank you so much. So thank you all. Uh, any last words for everyone, Cassian? I. Uh well, it was a pleasure to be here, really. I'm, I'm glad you invited me here. Mm. I'm, I'm always down to, to come back, okay? You I'm glad you accepted. I'm glad you accepted. <laughs> and I feel like I definitely owe you one now, a trip to yours at some point. <laughs> <laughs> so until the next, goodbye, everyone. See you on the other Goodbye. side. Bye. Bye-bye.